In the case of Katrina, I remember watching on TV, looking at the satellite and, and seeing the predictions, and the predictions were pretty much right on. If you go back and look at the National Hurricane Center out of Miami, six days out they gave very accurate forecasts where Hurricane Katrina was going to go. All those images that you saw were coming from the GOES satellite. The luxury we have with these new satellites and their new capabilities and their accuracy is that to get people out of the way when we know it's going to hit is, is a serious advantage that this, these satellites are providing us. Every time there's a hurricane, I know that GOES is there and it's helping protect lives. The next GO satellite to be launched is GOES O, which we've made some improvements to. We have two satellites that are operational, but our philosophy also is to launch spares. So GOES O is actually going into a spare slot. So if one of them were to fail you know, abruptly, uh, we would activate the one that's in storage. GOES, the G stands for geosynchronous, and it's out about 36,000 kilometers, and it sits on the equator. GOES is looking at the continental U.S. and the Earth all the time, so we can really dwell on storms. That's why GOES is more critical for the daily uh, weather monitoring, and GOES is what you see every night on TV. Some of the main improvements we have on GOES-O are in the stability and the reliability of the pointing of the image data that we get from our primary instruments that look at the Earth. The new ones have higher resolution, so they take better pictures when they photograph from space. Then you could see actually what's going on inside the hurricane. These instruments on the GOES spacecraft are also very powerful. Okay? They can penetrate down into the atmosphere and focus right in on those uh, hurricanes that you may see coming across the Atlantic. We also monitor the space weather and have the ability to forecast additional high levels of radiation for the astronauts on the space station, as well as some interruptions in terrestrial communications. The data that comes from the GOES satellite is it's almost instantaneous. We call it real time. This is the GOES operations room. This is where uh, we operate all the GOES satellites. Okay, so what we have right here is our uh, product monitor display. Um, this data is coming in in real time from the satellite, and that's important because we want to make sure that the weather patterns we're seeing are actually over the, the correct areas. Whenever severe storms occur on the continental United States or out in the Atlantic Ocean that are forming hurricanes, the GOES O satellite has the ability to focus in and track those severe storms so that meteorologists can provide better forecasting and warning for the people who may be affected. Lift off of the Six, next generation seven, weather satellite eight. eight. If you did not have these satellites, it probably would end up costing you more in people's lives and property than it would be for the cost of the satellite itself and the whole operation. And I don't know that we can put a dollar figure on, on a life anyways. <laughs>